All right, so in the, list, in the last question, uh, someone asked, should they take money uh, that they owe, like they have a debt, and should they take money to pay off that debt versus actually starting, uh, spending money and starting a new business? So the correct answer to that is you do both. Uh, you don't have to do one or the other. You can simply choose, uh, you can simply choose which one you want to do, uh, but at the end of the day, you should really kind of do both within reason. So what I mean by that is if you believe in a business large enough, then you give it all you have, you put everything you have to it, and you give it all the money you can, right? Because that's what you do. When belief fuels you and you have purpose, things, it doesn't matter what things cost. You find you even sell, you know, you mortgage up your house, you do whatever you have to, right? Uh, and actually on Shark Tank, they say the opposite. They're like, you know what? You should never take risks like that. That's crazy. I, I'm not a big believer in that. I think you should take risks, but within reason. And debt is the same thing. No debt is good debt, right? Uh, in most cases anyways. So the main point is not always to pay off debt, but it's always to bring it to a point where it's comfortable enough where it can be paid off fairly quickly. So I think if you have a lot of debt and you have a, a, an idea for a business, I think you should scale it. You should still continue to pay down your debt all of which while still investing within your business. So you don't have to put all your money towards the debt paid off and then all your money towards the business. You can kind of choose to put a portion towards your debt as well as continue to grow your business. And then you can become resourceful and find new ways to perhaps pay off your debt uh, and find new ways to uh, raise money for your business. So these are two you know, ways you can also look at it. You can do both. I wouldn't necessarily settle for one over the other. I would spend a lot of time kind of understanding, is the debt something that's going to stay with you for a long time? Is it a lot of money? Uh, or perhaps can your business offset the first amount of money you make from your business be used to pay off most of the debt? So think about that this way, but don't always choose between having to do one thing at a time. Successful people can always multitask and can always focus on multiple things at the same time. And so if you have to work on one facade of your business at a time, you're never going to be successful. And if you have to do one... Uh, aspect or one thing in your life at a time, then you're also, it's going to take you a very long time to succeed. So I highly recommend that if you're going to be looking to become an entrepreneur or get in that field, you start understanding that balance and finding kind of a medium to get everything done with the smallest amount of resources is going to be the key to your success. So it, this next question isn't really much of a question, but rather a comment that was left to us on our, on our Amazon page uh, regarding my book, Third Circle Theory.